y'all so this video is going to talk about a few things that i love about living in korea what i love about the culture what i love about being korean um if you haven't seen it yet please check out my other video about my Belasian culture shock in korea man some of y'all really didn't like that video but it was just my opinion things that i had to adjust to when i moved to korea and things that i've i learned about my korean culture that i didn't know before moving here However, I am going to let y'all know right now that I love being in Korea, which is why I'm still here. So here are some of the things that I absolutely love about the Korean culture and just about being Korean and living here in Korea. All right, so the first one is going to be the respect for the elderly. Now, this is one of the big things that got so much negative attention on my last video or on my Blasian culture shock video. However, I really love that about the culture here, that they really, really respect elderly people. Even if you're only a year younger, than somebody you should still give them a lot of respect and I really like that and it's so cool in my opinion to see even when my middle schoolers do that because um, I, I'm a middle school teacher and the second grade middle schoolers will give so much respect to the third grade middle schoolers and it's just second nature to do that and I think it is just so cute because that's something you don't really see in America if you're a few years apart from each other then you're just friends and you're cool you can talk to each other whichever way you want to there is something called jondemai and banmai so jondemai means like the more formal type of speaking and banmai is more casual speaking so if anyone is a, even a year older than you then you should speak to them in jondemai instead of banmai and if they're same age like exactly the same age then you can speak to them in banmai now this kind of changes depending on your relationship with the person but for the most part age is definitely a huge thing here in korea and i really respect that and i think that is awesome okay so the next thing is the eating culture here in korea um i don't know if this is just because i love to eat myself but in korea it is very important or it's like big to eat with other people they have like this whole like I guess fellowship type of mindset and sharing mindset this is also something that i've noticed again in my middle school but sometimes i'll give the students candy for answering your question correctly or i don't know doing something right and they will they will share their candy with the people in their group if they can and one of the students actually said to me like no teacher this is like normal <laughs> and the, the way they explained it is they called it there's a, there's a a phrase for it in Korean I can't remember it off the top of my head right now but it's basically that food tastes better when you share it with someone else so I was like okay that's cool so even my kids do this whole sharing thing so one thing I kind of want to share just FYI this has something to do with the Confucian principles that Koreans follow here so Confucian principles really emphasize harmony and respect for elders and just being in a group setting sort of thing and definitely respecting like family and ancestors and that thing too which brings me to my next thing that i love about korea and that is the holidays that really respect ancestors so sometimes i feel like in america people forget about those that have passed away like maybe you'll think about them or um pray about them or something but you might not go to visit their grave and in korea there are specific holidays where you are supposed to take the time to go to their grave site and like feed them yes feed them like dry fish and pour them a shot of soju and just kind of hang out around them <laughs> during that holiday and I think that's really cool and since I am half Korean I do do that for the different Korean holidays so Sarai which is coming up soon as well as Chuseok and both of those holidays I go to my family's house and we you know celebrate our ancestors and we go to visit their graves and all of that stuff so I really love that about the Korean culture all right the next thing is recycling oh I love that Korea recycles like they recycle so hard like it is you better recycle okay every apartment that I live that has had a bag for recyclable items some apartments have it like so separated like this goes here this goes there this goes here but some of them have like just one bag for all recyclable items so if you have paper like boxes or bottles glass bottles plastic bottles whatever you need to recycle those here and I love that about Korea not only that they also reuse food waste so you are supposed to separate any leftover foods and put it in its own bag and dispose of that separately and what they do is they use that for compost I think that is so awesome when I go back to America that is something that kind of makes me cringe is when 
food is thrown into the trash can or when things that can be could be recycled are just thrown into the trash can like it's just Ugh. But the thing is is that some areas in America don't make it easy for people to recycle Sometimes you have to pay to recycle and I think that's insane. So Unfortunately, America has a long way to go when it comes to everyone being able to recycle but in Korea legit everyone knows that you have to recycle and everyone has this whole system where you can easily recycle for free the next thing I love, but also something that I grew up with, is taking off shoes at the door. And I just, like, if you live in Korea and this is not something you're used to doing, I highly advise you to do this, especially because if you watched my video about my Blasian culture shock, you know that I said something about spitting everywhere. So imagine you walking through the streets of Korea and then you're just bringing all that saliva into your house. Like, that is just absolutely disgusting but this is a thing in Korea where you have to have to have to take off your shoes before entering a Korean's apartment a Korean's household and I love that I love that um, I know there are some people that are not Korean in America that also have this rule for their house but this is just like a general rule for every single household that you go to here in Korea be sure to take off your shoes before you enter next thing is customer service now before I get into this Sometimes the customer service here is just a little too good. I don't know if you guys can actually understand that unless you've lived here, but man, they will follow you around and just make sure they are present as soon as you need help. As soon as that moment that you look up to ask for help, they will be there ready to help you, okay? But obviously that's a really good thing too. The customer service here is so good. I mean, when you walk in, it doesn't matter if it's, um. A Taco Bell what yes we have Taco Bells here in Korea <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a Taco Bell the people there are so friendly they're so happy they're so polite like anywhere you go here in Korea for them I mean I don't think I've experienced bad customer service anywhere here in Korea but yeah you're gonna have good cuz oh wait nope taxi drivers some taxi drivers are not nope they don't have good customer service but for the most part other people or other places will give you such perfect customer service you guys so not saying America doesn't have good customer service but I've experienced more situations where in America I've had people that just look like they hated their job and that they could just go off on you any second like I've had that kind of vibes from some places in America but in Korea I never get that never get that feeling the last thing and probably the biggest most important thing or the I won't say the most important but it is an amazing absolutely amazing thing here in Korea is that it is so safe now don't take that as you can walk through any streets in Korea, la da da, not being aware of your surroundings or anything like that. No, 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 no. That is not what I'm trying to say at all. Please still be cautious. Please still be aware of the fact that there are bad people all over the world. However, it is so much safer here. Um, and like people stealing things people don't steal things for them okay I'm not gonna say nobody steal things but for the most part you don't have to worry about people stealing something from you um, in America man I can't even like like comparing Korea Korean safety to America's safety is like extremely like polar opposites you guys like night and day I mean my mother's car got stolen out of her dang driveway <laughs> once before. I've seen things in Korea, I've seen this multiple times in Korea where there are a group of college students studying in a coffee shop and say they decided to go grab a bite to eat or they went to have a smoke, okay? They will leave everything on the table, all the important stuff just sitting on the table. So for example, their laptops, their cell phones, uh, their car keys <laughs> they'll leave it all on the table and just leave the cafe for an hour or so and then come back nobody touches their stuff nobody touches their stuff it's just all still sitting there it is insane to me like that stuff would have been gone with the quickness in America I mean like no hesitation someone will walk up and just jack their stuff 
that's just how it is in America. It's so sad. It is extremely sad that that's how it is in America. In Korea, it's just kind of like this whole Confucian principles thing too. You just don't mess with other people's stuff. If it's not yours, you don't touch it. Point blank period. And I love, love, love that about Korea. And just a quick message to those of you who are in America or other countries where people steal a lot. Don't mess with other folks stuff. It's not yours. Just leave it alone. Okay. Okay. So that is all I'm going to say about the things that I love, love, love about Korea. Honestly, I can go on you guys. I can make a whole probably hour long video about the things that I love about Korea, which is why I'm still here. But I want to try to keep these videos a little bit short. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers and just for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me, which brings me to my giveaway you guys wow this is my first giveaway i don't really know what i'm doing but i'm gonna figure it out as i go so in this giveaway i'm going to prepare a box with just a bunch of korea stuff so this could be korean skincare korean snacks k-pop items um i don't know whatever things that I just feel are like represent Korea well I will throw into this box and ship it to you guys so to enter this giveaway you have to do a few things just because I want to weed out the people who are just here for the giveaway I want my first giveaway to go to someone who like has been supporting me and who truly likes the content on my channel so this is what you need to do to enter this giveaway all right so the first thing you need to do is to like this video the second thing is to comment now what I want you to comment is something that you like about my channel you could also just name what video was your favorite video now I want you guys to do this because I kind of want to see what videos people are liking so that I can maybe gear my content to what you guys enjoy watching the third thing that I want you guys to do is to share this video the reason why I want to do that is just to really choose someone who actually does support this channel like someone who really does like my channel and wants it to grow and shares my videos so other people can see it like that sort of thing and the last thing is to just follow me on instagram okay so hopefully that's not too much for you guys to do and i hope you guys enjoy the giveaway um this is just kind of a huge thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and yeah just kind of a celebration for 5,000 subscribers um to me that's a big deal because when i started this channel it was just for fun and now i have about 7,000 subscribers on it which is something that I never expected when I first started this channel all right you guys so I just want to thank you by allowing you guys to possibly win some good stuff from Korea okay you guys well that is all I have to say on this video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy take care and I will see you in my next video bye